Hello guys and welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about 5 things you don't know about Empyrean Galactic Survival. Again with the title Rakuna. I thought we'd discuss this the other time. Yeah I know, I know, and personally I think it's just a good catchy phrase. Uh, okay, by the way, uh, what is she doing here? Uh, yeah she's been hanging around with me a lot lately. Don't tell anyone, but I think she's a little clingy. Well, you might want to check on that. Enough with the intro, Rakuna. So what's the first tip for today? Well, first tip would be press O. If you find yourself stuck into all sorts of situation, pressing O will generally get you out of it. Like sometimes, you'll find yourself digging a hole and you'll get stuck and not be able to move anymore. Well, to fix that, if you press O, sometimes it'll help you force level your ship and help you get out of st sticky situations. It might take a little bit of time sometimes, but uh, eventually you'll get out. This also applies as if you get stuck in a base. Sometimes that happens. For some reason, you get stuck in some antenna or, or some other thing. Well, usually if you wiggle around enough or, and you press O, eventually you'll manage to get yourself unstuck. Oh, well, that's kind of interesting. So what's next? Tip 2 is managing CPU. Now, here I am inside the Charon, and as you can see, it's got full CPU. Over here it shows that I'm currently at tier 4. Why do I have the tier 3 CPU still installed? There's no need for it. When you go from one tier to another, you can remove all of the other tiers below. Right now, I just kept my tier 4 CPUs and I'm still at tier 4. The same thing applies if you're going to tier 3. If you go to tier 3, you can remove that pesky little tier 2 CPU extender. Some people don't know that and they keep putting the full set in and it just takes up space for no reason. The other tip is docking faction. Right now, I am on the Mantis. The Mantis is set to my faction, and I want to land on the Charon. Currently, it's not working. Why is that? If you look on the Mantis, this is set to Raccoon faction, and the Charon is currently set to private. Until both of them are set to the same faction, you will not be able to dock. So if you find yourself in that situation, you'll know how to fix it. Tip number four is set to public. If you're playing on a multiplayer and you have a stray player coming to your base and you want him to be able to have access to some of your devices, you can go on that device, press P, and you go into device setting. Right now I've selected the O2 station. If I change the lock code to 0000, it sets it to public, as you can see here. Now, even though they're not part of my faction, if they go inside my ship, they'll be able to use the oxygen station. And you can pretty much apply that to any other device on your ship. And what would be the last tip, Rakuna? Well, the last tip is color names. If you go on your devices by pressing P in your control panel, you can actually set your devices to have random colors. How do you do that? Well, that's easy. You just select a device, and in between square brackets, you write the color code for what you want. As such, I've set 11EE00, and now the color of the cargo palette is green. Now there are some easy ways to get the colors. You can go Google Color Picker, and it'll give you the hex code for that. So all of the items in your devices can look like the colors of a rainbow. How beautiful. Yeah, it sure is. Well guys, thank you very much for joining me on today's episode of Imperial Galactic Survival Tutorials. Bart, why the hell is she floating in the air when she's dancing? I don't know, man. I think she was a witch in her past life. Uh, oh, okay. So guys, I hope you learned something from today's episode. And if you have anything else you'd like me to cover, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will get back to you. So until next time, take care and stay safe. Rakuna out.